Guys, in this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing of a VOTAU Mini Red Dot. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but this is a Mini Red Dot that was sent to me by this company. I have used other products of theirs in the past, and when they contacted me again and asked me if I would be interested in checking out one of these, I jumped at the opportunity. Uh, now, I'm going to base part of my opinion on the, this company based upon what my previous experience has been with them and the optic that I had gotten from them back uh, sometime about a year ago or so is an optic that has been very reliable that I've not had any issues with it. So this is the current optic that they had sent me. This is of course the 504, uh, the PMD 504 mini red dot. Uh, micro red dot whatever their the name is the acronym for it comes in just a standard box as you can see here but the box is not what we are interested in so I'm just going to pull the lid off and we're just going to show you what's inside we have of course our literature here that gives you a little bit of information about the red dot as far as the adjustments things like that uh, you can see here and now guys I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video to where you can go over to Amazon and check the current pricing uh, This is the cleaning cloth that they give you of course here. We have some screws for mounting uh, You know this can be mounted in a couple of different ways, and that's what we will look at we have of course our uh, battery and I would not be surprised if there is not already a battery inside this in fact the other optic that I got actually came with a battery and there was one already inside the optic as well so we will look into that of course you do have the battery just something standard we do have some tools a couple of allen wrenches that they send and now let's get the optic itself out now I want you to know that this optic does come with this nice cover. As you can see there, it has the company name and logo on it. It does completely cover the optic. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the cover off and let's look at the optic itself. Okay, you can see that it does have a little bit of the rear notch for those firearms that where you may have to remove the rear sight or whatever and this will fit on the Picatinny rail you know if you have or if you're going to put this on a rifle or a pistol or that sort of thing it will fit right down on there and the other thing is it will also mount on a lot of your pistols and that sort of thing as well simply by removing uh, the current mount uh, that is installed you know you just got two screws there and we can lift this completely off of the firearm or off of the mount uh, just looking at the view uh, now it's not going to be something that you can see through the camera there is just a little bit of a blue cast i'm not sure how well you will be able to see it but there is just a little bit of a blue cast on the lens uh, you know i'm not going to say that it's 100 percent clear but for the price of this optic you know it's not going to be perfect this is a very affordable uh, more along the lines of what would be considered a budget red dot uh, but at the same time uh, based on past history with the company uh, these have been you know reliable they have held up I should say now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn the optic on just to show you the reticle that comes on this just press and hold the button on the side this is your controls it does have a few different uh, reticles for you to choose from and if I can hold it in the right spot there we go now I'm not sure how well it's going to come through on the camera I'll tell you what I'm going to do let's go ahead and put the box down here to have a little bit of a contrast you can see there it's just your standard dot okay um, and again guys the focus on this is not doing it justice that's a little better right there you can see your standard dot if I press the button on the side I can actually select the different reticle types uh, if I press the right button that is so but it does let you scroll through 
uh, different brightnesses. There we go. We can see there. Uh, that is, uh, it's not coming through very well on camera, but what that is basically, that is the circle. Okay, that is the circle reticle. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to focus as well as I would need it to. But guys, what it is, what you're seeing is basically a large dot. But what I see when I look through it, it's actually just a circle. Okay, and of course that is what you would normally see. Um, you know, when I'm going to press it again and change to the other one, we now are back at a circle with a dot, basically. Okay, and once I press that button again and hold it for just a second, uh, yeah, you're not, you guys are not going to be able to see what these reticles are through the camera lens very well. Uh, you know, it is a circle with a dot in it, is what it currently is. Let me see if it'll let me focus in a little differently. I don't believe that it's going to. Uh, no, it's not going to let me focus in here the way that I would like to, guys. So, sorry about that. But, it kind of gives you an idea of what it would be. And, you know, don't let this... Um, don't you know you don't think that this is just one big large dot because it is not that is actually a circle with a dot in it and it is bright right now and that reticle is easily seen I can really make out that reticle okay so now I'm just going to way to change these guys are the buttons here on the side I hold the button and it will change from one reticle to the other so now I'm going to go back to just the standard dot okay this is our standard dot that would you would see again the focus is just not bright not cooperating with me on this so don't try to judge what that dot looks like based upon what you're seeing in this video because trust me guys it is completely different from what I see through the optic uh, compared to what you guys are seeing through the camera lens big difference okay it's a very bright optic um, very pinpoint optic and looking through it with the reticle on it does not notice you know you don't notice that blue haze that is in the lens i mean i can notice it a little bit depending on what the background is but that's still uh, very very intuitive very uh, bright and uh, you know very nice build quality seems to be decent uh, seems to be very well made and of course you've got your adjustments windage and elevation that way you can sight it in but that is typically what the uh, red dot on these it's what we would expect now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and actually eventually mount this onto a firearm, take it out to the range, and try it out. And I will be bringing you guys along for that. But for now, guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. But leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And again, guys, check out the links down in the description. And we will see you next time.